Google My Business is for local business. Now, what does that mean? Let's define local business. You need to have a physical location in, with a, a mailing address that goes to a specific physical address, not a post office box, because Google will verify that you are a physical location or that you have a physical location. That's really important because if you don't get verified, you don't get a listing. And I'm going to talk about that later uh, in more detail. But the thing, here's the thing that you have to, to um, decide upon if you don't have, if you run your, your business out of your home the way I do, do you want your home office address published on the web? <laughs> if not, then Google My Business is not going to be for you. If you're fine with that, then this is going to be beneficial for you. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the things that you guys want to know about Google My Business. Eight. So what you're going to learn today and what we're going to talk about, first of all, is what is Google My Business? Number two, how to create and update your listing. And then number three is how to get business from it. Because what I've noticed is most people create their listing and then let it go. You know, they don't do anything with it. And that's a mistake. So we're going to take a look at all three of these things and how you can get business from your Google My Business listing. All right. So number one, what is Google My Business? Now, Google used to call this Google Local, um, like a Google Local business listing. They now call it Google My Business because that's what most people say. Google My Business and you'll find it. So here's what it is. It's a free listing at the top of Google search results when people search for your type of company. So here's a Google uh, My Business listing for multiple companies when I search for computer training in Atlanta. And notice it's showing three Google My Business listings. Now there are more if I want to click on those, but the bottom line is most people don't. So Google shows three listings and these appear above their actual websites. So before you see any websites, you're seeing a Google My Business listing with map, with a map showing, you know, the little pins where all these are located. Now this is exclusively for businesses with a physical address because Google wants to be able but to show people where you are on a map and then use your mobile phone for directions to get there. So you need to have a physical address. Now, the, here's the most important thing that y'all need to learn today and need to remember out of today's webinar. The really important thing about Google My Business is it provides a level playing field for all businesses because every single Google My Business listing looks the same. You cannot throw thousands of dollars at it like you can a website and have it, you know, look super duper and your competition, you know, has this little itty bitty teeny website that looks terrible. All right. So why is a Google My Business listing important? Well, for the number one reason is it's the first impression that people are going to have when they're searching for your business. They will see your Google My Business listing before they see your website even if you don't create one, if your business has a significant enough presence online that people are searching for it, or even if you don't have, even if you don't have a website, if people are searching for your business online, Google will create this for you. You know, their computers do it. And so whether you create a, a Google My Business listing or not, you're going to have one. And so you want to make sure that it's a good one. And, now, and people may never even see your website. People may just look at, at your Google My Business listing. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to shorten this to be your GMB listing. So I don't have to keep saying the whole thing every time. But people may see your GMB listing first and never even look at your website. So it's the first impression that people get. It provides objective reviews, photos, and questions and answers. So it's very much like Yelp, um, but it's better than Yelp because it's on Google and that's always the first place that people go. Um, I actually looked at 
how many people visit Yelp and how many people visit Google. A billion people visit Google My Business. And um, that's a, and 500 million visit Yelp. That's still a lot, but Google My Business gets a whole lot more. And it's specifically because of this. People search on their mobile phones when they're trying to go someplace, when they need directions, when they need your hours, and they're searching on their mobile phone. And a lot of times they're doing voice search. And Google's really good at providing them with the answer. And one of those answers is going to be your GMB listing. And it adopts a mobile first presence with your GMB listing. Google knows a lot of things that we don't know. <laughs> and one of the things is we 